know, Bridge, what are you thinking? Alright, so in truth, he went because he called me. Uh, he was with go. our college prize. We agreed to meet at the building. We talked for a bit, and then I think we to And later, when I went back, I found him lying there. Bodo. Taking pills for the last two or three days. Oh, wow. How many statements were there? You're six. Ew. Okay. Uh, also, Shadow Coast says, Is Zach sniffing for real? Get well, dude. Hey, guess what? It's acting. It's called acting, dog. <laughs> Did you I just, just hey, did I just you just got mind? fucking punked. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they call me Punky. Hey, <laughs> candid camera. <laughs> uh, can we press the same about when? Can we press the, press the first statement? I want to see if he says why he called him. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good, uh, good one. Had you ever met the victim before then? No, never. But. That day he called me, called me up and told me he wanted to talk about Dolly. And this Dolly person is... As we established this five minutes ago. Uh, my, um, that's kind of embarrassing. She's my, uh, my lover. <laughs> Oof, what, what was that for, me, huh? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I just felt like slapping something on. She just slapped the fuck out of bed for no reason. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I guess it runs in the Fay family to just fucking beat the shit out of yeah. somebody. Yeah. When I hear about people who are sweethearts, I just want to slap someone. <laughs> Dahlia Hawthorne was also the lover of the murder victim, Doug Swallow. You mean it's always worth two timing them? Okay, yeah. there we go. No, thanks for specifying that. Mm -hmm. Before she met Mr. Wright, that is. <laughs> I quote Lolita says, that's the girl who tops me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fucking a hundred percent true. Hmm. <laughs> so it was one of those nasty love triangles, I see. Uh. Is there a, a specific thing you'd like to press, or do you think just keep pressing, or how are we feeling? We just—I mean, we just need more information. We don't have a lot of evidence, and okay. okay. Was it Mr. Swallow who indicated you should meet at 2.45? Yeah, and we were both there right on time. Hmm. You said the victim was in the pharmacology department, correct? Yeah, he was studying how to manufacture and improve pharmaceuticals. Everyone called him the alchemist of IVU. The full metal alchemist of IVU. And oh my alchemist. God, the alchemist. I fuck. see. <laughs> oh, he fuck was with this dude. He was working on a philosopher's stone. Achoo! I gotta admit. <laughs> he was working on bringing his dead parents back to life. Oh no. His brother was a statue. <laughs> I gotta admit, it, it was a little suspicious. He had a whole laboratory and everything. It was filled with chemicals and strange machines that run on high voltage electricity. It's kind of ironic that he died that way. Laboratory. <laughs> he's the smartest boy you've ever seen. And then it's him chasing after and a really Phoenix. lanky Phoenix, and he says, "Phoenix!" <laughs> oh, ho, ho. how fascinating! He sounds like he was quite an ambitious young man. What do I do? Maybe I should ask him for some more details. Uh, timing of the meeting? <laughs> I do like that. Fulfill it. Fini, get out of my laboratory! <laughs> That's good. So you're absolutely certain that you met at 2.45? Yeah, pretty sure. That's the time class ends. But they're always doing experiments, so it doesn't matter much. Experiments? Yeah, those pharmacology guys are always up in the lab, whipping up something. <clears throat> well, it looks like he's right about the time, anyway. Witness, let's go on with your testimony. Uh, just because this is a Phoenix Wright game, I feel like we press that again and pick the other options. Does that sound good? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I was wondering if you could tell us a bit more about the pharmacology department. Well... Okay, sure. I don't know that much, though. 
A little bit earlier in your testimony, you said something interesting. You said the department uses strange machines that run on high-voltage electricity. That's right. And they sure do look dangerous. They use non-standard voltages, so there are high-voltage cables everywhere. High-voltage cables? Yeah. There were electrical poles set up all during the building. All throughout the building. The high-voltage cables run overhead around the roof. Finally, I think we're getting somewhere. It definitely wasn't safe. And this was not the first casualty. <laughs> uh, okay, hopefully, maybe in this one he'll explain what they talk about. Uh, yeah. So what was it you were talking about? Finally, the question I wanted her... You know... <laughs> <laughs> that maybe we should hang out again sometime. What? What? <laughs> hang out again sometime? I wish that were true. You literally just said you fucking hate this guy. You also, he called you out there to say, hey, we should hang out. Man, I, I hate... Also, they're not going to give us anything more off that? Sure not. <laughs> <laughs> that was nothing. Nope. So, you say you went back. Uh, yeah, that's when I found the body. Yes, but why did you go back in the first place? Weren't you angry with him? Well, that's right, I, I was. Then why, Mr. Wright? Why did you go back there? Um, I thought maybe we could make up? Make out? Wait, I mean make up? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> was this his crush in between uh, Andrew? Achoo! Achoo! Judging by the atmosphere, I'm pretty sure no one is buying this. <laughs> I mean, his name was Doug Swallows. Hey. God damn it. Sorry, everybody. It's because he really liked Cold Killer X. He would swallow a whole bunch of them. Didn't even and need a cup of water. died. <laughs> It's rather unusual to catch a cold this time of year, isn't it? Yeah. I always get a little careless when the weather starts to warm up. That's why I'm wearing a sweater and a scarf. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't sleep with the window open in early spring, huh? I suppose common sense is not always common. Got him. So, Got him. did anyone else did anyone else know that you were taking cold medicine? Well, uh, no, because you don't fucking go around advertising that you're yeah. taking cold medicine. What the f <laughs> Hey, guys, just so you know, I'm taking cold medicine. <laughs> Woo! Hey, bro, Let's what's go. up? How was your weekend? I'm taking cold medicine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always took one after meals, so I'm pretty sure all my friends knew about it. You have friends? Hey, well, this one guy oh, named like Larry. You can see his mouth move when he talks. Yeah, you know, it's. It, I like that you can see the sniffle too in his idle animation. Uh -huh. It's really good. On the day of the incident, what did you do for lunch? Uh huh. What does that have to do with anything? You can never be too sure. Uh, you always eat with Dolly, just the two of us. Dolly's homemade lunches are just the greatest. Mm, her mini omelets are magically delicious. <laughs> Ouch! Why did you punch me in the jaw? <laughs> just a closed fist punch to the face. <laughs> <laughs> just Mortal Kombat just yeah. destroyed. Why does Grossberg's he punch jaw? people for no reason? And this is why Grossberg has hemorrhoids. <laughs> It's because it's like he is Grossberg, It's like Grossberg stops being an attorney to play Fortnite. <laughs> it's because me is get a shit kicked out of it. He's like, Chun Li's ass doesn't have hemorrhoids. <laughs> That's why I love that ass. <laughs> I don't love it because it's on her. I just wish it were my ass. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I just felt like hurting someone all of a sudden. I felt like breaking something beautiful. I don't get this. Why is hearing about... 
Am I missing something? That I, here I think, I think it's makes like, like it's assault a, people. It's like a bad anime trope of just like that was too cute. Too I'm gonna hit something. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. I didn't know if I. I didn't know if I had, was missing something of her. It's just that. It's not like nah. it's not such a common anime trope that like it feels weird. Because they're not yeah, like, it, 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 you're not seeing it. You're just hearing him say, why the fuck did you punch me? Right. I hear about people in relationships. I have to assault someone near me. Yeah. Get wrecked. <laughs> I think that's enough for now. So the defendant and the victim met at approximately the time of his death. And then the defendant returned to the scene for some unknown reason. I'm not entirely convinced by his explanation about the medicine bottle, either. Let me be frank here, Mr. Wright. Okay, I'll call you Frank. <laughs> frank Judge. Cannot, cannot be trusted. What do you mean? <laughs> I knew it was too much work for a little girl. Hey, not bad. Hmm... However, there is one mystery that still remains. There is, Your Honor? Yeah, how the fuck did he get electrocuted? <laughs> how the murder was carried out, of Looks course. Looks like there's a, there a picture there's a fucking busted power line. Yeah. I don't think Phoenix, like, just ripped a power line down. That's his, that's his <laughs> superpower. Just how was the victim electrocuted? I don't believe the murder weapon has been produced yet, correct? Well, that is, I, you are correct, Your Honor. What? We actually have no possible explanation for what happened, so we were kind of hoping you didn't bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> the prosecution has fucking no clue. God damn it. So, how exactly was Mr. Swallow killed? I could somehow establish how it was done. Maybe I could still come out of this mess smelling like a rose. Sounds like a fresh lemon. Smelling like the like the front of the front of cinch lemon. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I mean, we kind of need to do that. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess. Oh. Yeah, I mean, we can. Well, we can use the picture, I guess, and show the and show yeah. the power line. Your Honor, I think that's all I'm looking for at this point, probably. Yes, Miss Faye. I believe that if we were to piece together everything we've heard up until now. We should be able to solve the mystery of how Mr. Swallow died. That would be most impressive. <laughs> Quite the brash statement coming from a rookie. But even a beginner like you must understand the basic rules of the court, yes? An attorney must be able to substantiate their arguments with evidence. Of course I know that. Actually, I had totally forgotten about that. What? <laughs> you can't just say things wildly? Now then, Miss Faye, let me see what you've got. Show me what you've got. <laughs> Show me how you believe the victim was electrocuted. With Cold Axe. Cold Killer Axe. Mm, seems like <laughs> With yeah. my attorney's badge, which is secretly a taser. What are we doing? I mean that first picture with the busted power line. Yeah, it's, it's got it's, got right now. It's got to be this one, right? As for the cause of death, I'd say this picture captures it quite well. What? But there is nothing that even remotely resembles a murder weapon here. Hmm. I'm afraid the defense is going to have to explain this in a bit more detail. Miss Faye, where exactly in this photo is the murder weapon? The umbrella. The umbrella. The umbrella. The umbrella. The umbrella. Uh, I already knew. Fucking do you it. On it. Fucking do it. You won't do it. You're scared. Well, it's not even going to have like a special piece of dialogue for it, probably. Probably not. You can just click the fucking sparking wire. Yeah, I mean, come on. Hey, come on. Well, naturally, it's right here. That's... That's... What is that? A severed electrical cable, I believe, Your Honor. Remember the testimony we've heard. The machines the pharmacology students use in their experiments require high voltage. And because of that, 
There are special high-voltage cables sprung, strung up everywhere. So then, the high-voltage cable... Yes, the high-voltage cable is the cause of death. That is the most likely explanation. Hmm, that certainly sounds plausible. Well, Mr. Payne, what do you have to say about this? Well, I believe some praise is in order. Don't toy with me, old man. Now, now, the victim's cause of death may indeed have been a high-voltage cable. However, I want you to think about what that really implies. The only one who had the opportunity to use the cable as a murder weapon was... The Defendant! Achoo! Not really! Yeah, that's a wild statement. That much is certainly true. Not. Yes, and that's not all. We have proof. Irrefutable proof that will establish that Mr. Wright was the murderer. You do? Well, what is it? His fingerprints. Fingerprints? No, I don't think so. I knew you were going to. I knew you couldn't yeah, help I yourself. I was <laughs> like, here it comes. Here it comes. The Animaniacs reference. Thank you. It's, it's <laughs> such a good one. It's such a good joke. No, it's a great joke. You mean that the defendant's fingerprints were on something besides the medicine bottle? Let's take another look at the crime scene photo. As you can see, the victim is wearing a leather jacket. And as you may know, leather conducts electricity. <laughs> uh, you mean... Yes, it was quite clearly imprinted on the chest area of the victim's jacket. The palm print of the defendant's very own hand. What? Sorry, I get a bit I handsy can... when I make out. <laughs> I can only think of one way Mr. Wright could have left a print like that. Intent on murder, he squarely pushed the victim towards the severed electrical cable. Order, order, order! That's enough. I think we can conclude that there is no reason to continue with this cross-examination. Judge, literally what? Like, dog. Stick a fork in us, we're done. I suck. <laughs> Mr. Grossberg? My hemorrhoids never lie. The show is over, Mia. Oh, God, it's so good. <laughs> it's over, Mr. Grossberg. Give up now! Oh no! Yep, that was them. Fucking my hemorrhoids never <laughs> lie. I'm on tonight. My hips don't lie, and I'm starting to feel you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> God Rosebird, damn! Rosebird. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I knew that boy was guilty the first time I saw him. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> no, you're wrong. Mr. Wright is innocent. No further... Excuse me, I was gross for a second. <laughs> no further evidence is required to convince me of this man's guilt. Your Honor, at this time I am prepared to render a verdict in this case. Uh, uh, uh. Do you have something further to add, Miss Fay? Is this what you want, Mr. Wright? What you really, really want? If not, then tell us. <laughs> tell us what you want. What you really, what really, you want. really, really want. <laughs> you still haven't told, the tr told us the truth. The whole truth. If you don't say something now, the judge is going to hand down his verdict. But, but I, I can't, I, I can't just say it. If I told you what really happened, then I'd be... It's okay, Mr. Wright. I'm your attorney. You can trust me. M Miss Faye, that's not how you wear a mask, Phoenix. Over your nose and mouth, Mr. Wright. No matter what it is you have to say, I believe in you, and I'll represent you to the very end. Okay, I totally killed him. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Wait, anything but that. Don't say that. <laughs> We've already established the defendant's guilt. There's no further need for him to say anything. <coughs> Wait a minute. Mr. Wright. I... I'll tell you what really happened. But I've already told you, Mr. Wright. There's no need for further... <coughs> I... I did it. I admit it. I pushed him. It's my fault. My fault that Doug Swallow died. I did admit it. All right, well, hey, case closed. Not me again, me. The future Who, lied. Phoenix wants to get a really good deal and get out of jail. That for girl, like you shouldn't years. see her anymore. Hey, it's none of your business. I'm telling you for your sake. If you continue to see her, it's going to be bad news. Y you're lying. Just listen to me. There's something you need to know about that girl. Wait, is the Swedish guy Doug Swallow? Stop it. I mean, we don't know. Doug uh, Swallow might have been Don't talk about her him. like that. For him. <laughs> Granite says that's the best British accent I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you come here. You're for that. You're here for that quality content. <laughs> what you just said. Was that the truth? Yes, I... I was afraid. Afraid that if I told the truth, everyone would, I, would think I was a murderer for sure. Well, as things currently stand, <laughs> we're all absolutely sure you're the murderer. Please! Please well, give shit. me one more chance to explain. This time I swear. I swear I'll tell the whole truth. You just said you did that, then you admitted to killing him. Uh, I'll be okay. <laughs> It'll be okay, won't it, Miss Faye? I... I believe in you. I'm sorry, who are you? Oh, I've never met you before no, in my life. No, you just admitted... What? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, thank you. I still can't believe it. You really did push the victim. Uh, it feels like my hemorrhoids are doing the Harlem... Eight. Wow! There it is, <laughs> folks! There it fucking is! Do the Harlem Shake. This game <laughs> dates itself so hard with this line. Oh my the god. I bet most of our fans don't even know what the fuck the Harlem Shake even is at this point. Yeah. When was the Harlem Shake? Like, when did that happen? Uh... Ravenclaw says the meme in 2013. This game had to, it was lo localized in 2007, but it was a meme in wait 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 like 2012 2013. Oh, it was Harlem Sh Harlem Shake might have been a thing. Oh yeah, Harlem Shake was created in 1981. Yeah, the Harlem Shake it was, is the, the Harlem Shake is a it exists before the meme. Around. So this yeah, so, but... so this even happened before the meme. When was the localization yes. of this game? Uh, it was released in 2004. So I in the West, it was localized. Uh, localized in 2007 in the, is what people are saying. 2007, yeah. Huh. Yeah. That's pretty. <laughs> that's pretty crazy that they did this before the meme. Yeah. <clears throat> When I push the victim. That guy. He was talking bad about Dolly. Phoenix push! So I five finger death punched him. K.O. K.O. <laughs> Said Oi, oh, Nomar Shindru. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my His temper. Heart fucking exploded. I lost my temper and gave him a shove. At that moment, I heard some kind of loud noise. A little while after I left, I started to get worried, so I went back, but he, he was just laying there, dead. <laughs> I killed him, and then left, and then was like, wait, did that guy die? Oh, shit, he did. <laughs> that's my bad. I murdered him, and then when I came back, he was dead. <laughs> and that's when I learned, people die when they are killed. <laughs> well... The explanation is really quite simple. When you pushed him, Mr. Swallow flew back and touched the electrical cable. 
he died from the shock. And that is as they say. And that, as they say, is that. Hmm. A simple explanation indeed. At the time of the incident, a light rain had been falling. Wet from the rain, <laughs> the victim's P word was more easily electrocuted. God damn it. <laughs> but when I pushed him, there weren't any electrical cables nearby. If there had been something like that, even I would have noticed it. That's true. Even a doofus like him couldn't miss that. Also, I'm pretty sure a university would have fucking cordoned off a uh, fucking exposed electrical cable. I would hope so. <laughs> Unless mm. Ivy University just fucking sucks when it comes to student safety. I mean... Miss Fay, let me warn you right now that if your cross-examination doesn't yield any new facts, I intend to deliver my verdict without further delay. Are we clear on that? Yes, Your Honor. Don't give up, Mia. If he is innocent, there must be some kind of evidence somewhere that will prove it. Prove it. Prove it, prove it, prove it, prove it. All right. How are we feel on this one? He was talking bad about Dolly. Lost his temper, gave him a shove. shove. Heard some kind of loud noise. I definitely need to press that. Yeah. A loud noise? And what would you say the loud no that and what would you say that loud noise was, Mr. Wright? It was the gun I fired at him. It was the second ah, shooter it. from the grassy knoll. Damn it, that's better. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it was really loud. It was like, snap! You know, come to think of it, I wonder what that was. <laughs> Clearly, Your Honor, it was the sound of the victim being electrocuted. You're not qualified to decide that. Yeah, you're not an expert on the sound of getting electrocuted. I'm treading on some dangerous ground here. Ask for more detalles. <laughs> Mr. Wright, that loud noise you heard may be extremely important. So try to remember what it was. Um, how do I put it? It was like a <clears throat> sharp crack. Oh no, Francisca von Karma. Ah, uh -huh. could it could it have been? Yes, could it have been? Hurry up and tell us. It was his head hitting the concrete. When I pushed him, he dropped the umbrella he was holding. It, it was the umbrella the whole time. K O K O. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, Zach, you can put a K O noise. Oh, I will. I will. I will. One hundred percent. Because that's actually really funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> he fell I mean, right he on... making the like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He fell right on top of it, and it broke. That was probably the noise I heard. An umbrella, huh? And did that umbrella belong to the victim? Yeah, it was a plastic umbrella. Cheap and frail. <laughs> Kind of like the owner. I fucking yeah! killed that guy. I broke his body in half. You're not helping your case, Phoenix. Then I didn't know what would break first. His body? <laughs> or his spirit? Oh my. Or his body. umbrella? <laughs> I mean, he's wearing a mask, so he can easily be like, What will break first? Your girl. body? I or wish your, I had your any kind of umbrella. Tell me, Mr. Swallows. Fire rises, Chris. <laughs> the fire rises. <laughs> yeah, I was born you yeah. only I was born with a cold <laughs> molded by it you only showed up to the courtroom I was born here uh, then again <laughs> I wish I had any kind of umbrella I was totally soaked to the bone er. mm. Miss Faye 
What do you think? Is there something important in that testimony just now? Um, well... You just said that he fell on the umbrella, right? Yeah, I just keep going with this. This is the first case. I'm not trying to be okay, tricky here. Yeah, I can't. I can't that umbrella that. looks snapped anyway. This is it, Mia. The new information you've been waiting for. Of course it's important. No, this cheap umbrella is more than important. It's vital. I want to officially have it entered into the testimony. How perfectly fitting! Flimsy information for a flimsy lawyer. Damn, pain. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> the court agrees to the defense's request. Witness, please add the bit about the cheap umbrella to your testimony. <laughs> That's that pretty funny. Cheap ass umbrella. What do you think of Bridge? I mean, can we pre I mean, we can press the statement that was just added, right? Yeah. And press it. So Mr. Swallow fell on top of his umbrella? Are you certain of this? Yeah. It was right there under him. Actually, if it hadn't been under him, I was planning on borrowing it for myself. I was going to take it off of his cold, dead body. Gonna... Yeah. <laughs> the umbrella, you mean? Well, yeah, you see, I was wearing this sweater here. Dolly stayed up late for nights at a time knitting it for me. I didn't want the rain to dampen the handmade symbol of her love. Oh, my stomach is not to be used as your personal soccer ball here. Uh, wait, did she kick him in the stomach? <laughs> Fucking yes. roundhouse kicked him roundhouse. right in the gut. <laughs> the idea of her like, 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 just like doing a quick like jab is one thing, but her like, like this is asking. She slapped him, then punched him, then kicked him. Next is gonna be like, ah, oh, you suplexed me. <laughs> he suplexed. I was about to say she's about to suplex him. <laughs> Was it oh, the... you broke my arm! You, you, you dislocated <laughs> my shoulder! Mia, oh, Mia, Mia take down. You can't just send me to the Shadow Realm! <laughs> you shanked me! <laughs> How did you get that weapon in here? <laughs> You're currently uh, gouging so out sorry. my eyes with your high heels! <laughs> you better cut that out, Miss <laughs> Continue on with your testimony, witness. Uh, let's a quick, quick look at me now. Yeah, so it's not under him. That is correct. Big lie. Also, to be entirely fair, Phoenix put well. After a while, I, oh, oh, never mind. I, I thought I was saying, <laughs> after a little bit, I left. After his body was laying there, I was like, okay, I'm bored of this. Okay, so can we present the picture here and so that he wasn't on top of his umbrella? Pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, That's that it. You got it. Why didn't you testify about the umbrella from the very beginning? I wanted to steal it. <laughs> Come on. If I had mentioned that... I would have been able to counter the prosecution's arguments earlier. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Take another look at the crime scene photo. Almost said it. I was like, ooh. According to Mr. Wright, the victim fell on top of his umbrella. However, if you look closely, the umbrella is nowhere near the victim. Actually, it's by the electrical pole. You're absolutely right. The conclusion here is obvious. After the defendant left, the victim moved from where he fell. In other words, after he was pushed by the defendant, Mr. Swallow was still alive. No! <laughs> order! 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 The victim, he moved? He was a zombie? The only logical Mr. conclusion. Mr. Payne, the umbrella in this photo, where is it now? Well, it was collected by the police at the crime scene. I want it presented as evidence immediately. 
Oh, oh we go. well, there we go. There it, there is. it is. Okay. That was fast. Oh, damn. That was fast. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the umbrella could have simply been blown there by the wind. Under a man's body. <laughs> According to the testimony, the victim fell on top of the umbrella. There's simply no way it could have been blown there by the wind. <laughs> but... I know this matter of the umbrella seems relatively trivial, but as long as the smallest doubt remains, I cannot render final judgment. <laughs> No! What an overdramatic reaction to that. However, I still find it hard to believe that a huge hole has been blown in the prosecution's case by the defendant's testimony. What an unfortunate that time was... for an ellipses, huh? I know. <laughs> Thank a you, video huge game. huge hole has been blown in the prosecution's case by the defendant's testimony. All I do is eat holes. Fuck, what's the, what's the line? All I do, I do is, is eat dig, holes, eat dig, and sleep. Yeah, all I do is eat holes, dig, and sleep. God damn it. <laughs> Fucking funny. Well done, Mir. <laughs> Mr. Payne, what are you chuckling about? Uh, pardon me, Your Honor. It seems I was expecting too much of a free ride. It was foolish to think I could establish guilt through cross-examination alone. You haven't cross-examined anyone. Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm afraid I don't follow what you're saying. Let me guess. You have another witness. Exactly! And this witness's testimony will be incontrovertible. Well? Who is this be in a convertible? That's awesome! <laughs> Who's gonna bring a car in here? Here she comes now. Miss, Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. Dahlia Hawthorne? You don't mean Dolly? I do, Your Honor. The defendant's very own lover is a witness to the whole thing. Again, Lover is just such a... That's right. She was at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. What? I'm sorry to break the bad news to you, my dear. <laughs> oh, cool. Bad news? You couldn't be more wrong. Actually, I've been waiting for this. You can't be serious. Yeah? Oh, what do you mean by that? I think this is a good point for us to stop at. The court will now enter a 20-minute recess. Afterwards, we will listen to the testimony of Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. You heard it here, folks. Judge, judge said it. This is a good stopping point. Well, it's pretty ironic that he did say that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, it, it will get to a to be. It will do it to be continued after. Okay. This perfect. That's actually. exactly. I was, I was like, I think there's a like. Yeah. Perfect. <sighs> Miss Faye, uh, I'm sorry about what happened back there. I, I. It's all right. At least you told us the truth in the end, Mister Wright. Yeah. So I guess I can start to relax then, huh? Relax, my boy. You can't be serious after hiding such important facts. But, but the next witness is my dolly, right? She'll save me. I just know she will. Oh, you sweet summer child. <laughs> yeah. It's it's spring, Bridge. Oh, you sweet spring child. <laughs> Why do you think that? You sweet spring sneezy boy. Uh huh. What do you mean? She's. She's the love of my life, that's why. And the only other and the only life. other unique character in this case <laughs> means yeah. that she killed seem, him and is going that to blame you. Well for her. Yeah. <laughs> she she killed him and is going to blame you for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the love of your life, huh? Would you mind telling me more about you and Miss Dahlia Hawthorne? Sure. No problem. Dolly and I 
we first met about eight months ago, right here in this very courthouse. Actually, I'm studying to be a lawyer on the side. Anyway, one uh, yeah, day... that classic, that classic art major and law minor. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> that everyone goes to Ivy League universities for. Uh-huh. Pridge, Pridge, you had, you, had a, you had an art minor, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. One day, she and I just bumped into each other in, in the reading room downstairs. We were reading so aggressively, we ran into each other. <laughs> For some reason, she was dressed way out of this time period. <laughs> That's why I really think it was fate that brought us together. As soon as I first set eyes on her, I knew she was the one for me. Oh, as soon as I first set penis on her, I knew that Ooh, she was the wow. one for me. <laughs> Definitely horny gel on that one. <laughs> oh, here. Take a look at this. She gave this to me on the day we met as a symbol of our love. That's weird. Yep. It's very weird, huh? She'd been wearing it around her neck that day, but then she took it off. But before she gave it to me, she said, I want you to carry this. <laughs> Doesn't seem strange at all. No, nobody would question that. Yeah, you that. had a bar exam last question about how Henry gave Dave that ring he stole to hold on to. Oh my god, Pritch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm suddenly getting hey. these weird feelings. Uh, she gave it to you as a present, I see. This darling little bottle is filled with memories of my darling little dolly. It certainly is a little bottle, all right. <laughs> it makes me so happy. I show it to everyone I meet. Wow, that is such an annoying character, like, trait. Yeah, Phoenix, Phoenix you kind of suck in this oh, case. <laughs> I want to share my happiness with the whole world. Wow, what a... God, everyone probably fucking hates you, Phoenix. God, yeah. <laughs> I you, know. All of your you, classmates hate you, by the way. How do you have any friends? I don't. <laughs> I am universally hated. Um, anyway. So after that, you and Miss Hawthorne started dating? Yeah, but she's so shy. Every time I see her, she always says the same thing to me. Get away from me, you creep. Please give it <laughs> back now. <laughs> I forgot that that was the premise. She always, she always says this, the darndest little things like, she, Ew, you're gross. Please get away from me. I please, hate you. Please give me the weird, strange bottle that I gave you the first time we met back. I don't <laughs> want you to have it anymore. Uh, she's such a romantic. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, Phoenix doesn't give it back. Nope. And he's like, no, I'm not gonna give it back. I know, silly. I know you don't want me actually to. <laughs> what is this case? <laughs> what a strange girl asking for a present back like that. After this, maybe I would have rather than just given Phoenix amnesia again. <laughs> what is this <laughs> fucking case? No, no, this is good. This is good. <laughs> By the way, Mr. Wright, the day you first met Dahlia Hawthorne eight months ago. It wouldn't happen to have been on August 27th, would it? Huh? Yeah, it, it was, but how did you... This happened on August 27th, right here in this courthouse. What's this? A newspaper clipping? Let's see. M murder in the courthouse? M murder? What are you reading there? Let me see that. Oh, I see. Yeah, I think you under I think I understand what you're trying to say, and I think I understand why you suddenly took such a keen interest in this case. You believe there is some relationship between these two cases. Am I correct? What? The case we're currently doing is related to a case that happened in the past? That's no. never happened in this game series. Come DL6. On. That's <laughs> crazy. And then what Dahlia and then Dahlia Hawthorne shot a gun into an elevator and killed Gregory Edgeworth. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I hope you don't mind, Mr. Grossberg. I I need to finish this myself. Ah oh, yes. Well, 
I'm afraid what you have will not be enough, my dear. I'll go and have a look at the downstairs reading room and see what else I can find. Uh, this is a question, Pridge. Do courthouses yep. tend to have, like, sections? Libraries? Yeah, stuff like this, like a downstairs reading room. Um... I mean, I've... Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay. The the court had the uh, federal building where I where I did an internship during law school. I mean, had a cafe had a bunch of. I mean, it was both the courthouses, but also like the offices okay. for the uh, civil division of the district of the district attorneys of the. Well, what's about me? You good? Yeah, no, it was also the offices. And there was a cafeteria and meeting rooms right. and a bunch of shit. It was a massive building. I was just curious because yeah, no, the, the structure of the courthouse does come into play in this game, so. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, this, yeah, corporate courthouse buildings can be huge and have tons of, they can be very small and have one courtroom and a meeting room for the judge. And they can be okay. huge federal buildings with dozens of courtrooms and offices and meeting halls and cafeterias and okay. Different groups can work out of there. Spence. Fair. Oh. Thank you. I want to do whatever I can to be of help to you, Mia. Well, it looks like recess is about over. We'd better all get moving. I guess so. That recess sure seemed longer than 20 minutes, though. Did it? Oh shit, we were actually just late. <laughs> they declared him guilty. I've already pronounced him guilty. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh boy. But folks, that is going to do it for another week's episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Ooh. Lawyer. Again, you can catch us live on twitch.tv slash save data team every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, if not, no worries. It goes up as an edited VOD the following two days. And hey... If you'd like to support us, which we'd very much appreciate, head over to patreon.com slash save data team where you can throw us a buck. Help keep us keep it on. Uh, <laughs> but until next time, help folks, keep us safe. Oh, that's good. Help, help us save the data. But until next time, court is adjourned. Uh, six with the Meek Meekins is ready for battle with Punky or Buff Pearl or whoever oh, else. I don't know. This, this is, is the first dope. time I've seen Meekins look like a hero. He looks, he looks, it's the red he eyes. Like a, he's, he's yeah, but evil. it's the first time I've seen Meekins with all of his limbs and mouth intact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fact that he's in like a knight armor with a trident is really cool. Uh, mm -hmm. I dig this a lot. <laughs> this is really cool. Thank you, Six. I like the, the, the realistic sky, too. Cinder Clouds with the Snow Leopard Dahlia. Really cool. I really uh, like the color yeah. schemes. Yeah. That one. And I like I like Dahlia as a snow leopard. I think that's really fitting. So Yeah. The details on the on like the the, the fur and the, the umbrella and, yeah, the, and the lace is really good. They're so cute and they would never kill anyone. Exactly. So that's perfect for Dahlia. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. They would totally innocently give you a medal to hold on to with no ulterior motives. <laughs> no context and then ask for it back. And seriously. ask for it back every day for eight months. Uh, and doodles for every case so far. This is really amazing. Oh, wow. Uh, I've seen these. All right. <clears throat> one, one with Bridge. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, dude, I think you totally did it. I was right. These burgers are good. Why are you putting on brass knuckles? <laughs> Don't worry about it, pals. I'm more than capable of handling the mafia. <laughs> <laughs> ha! Why don't all lawyers do this? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> don't you get it? Don't you idiots get it? I am the chief of police. I can do whatever I like and shit wherever I want. Man, remember that time we made Gant a creepy Dorito shit troll? Shit troll. So good. Uh, first case is, yeah. God, what was his what name? What did he have? That's uh, the phone, right? Welling oh, no, it's the Wellington. The fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher. With. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the second one, I'm still recovering from the wound. 
Hey, Bridge, is beating the shit out of your opponent legal? Sure, why the f- yeah, sure, fuck it. <laughs> and then the third one, I love this. Sorry, Regina, but Acro will hunt you down. <laughs> <laughs> and even if you watch your back, you'll always feel guilty. <laughs> Someday you're trap your guard, and that's when I'll get you. <laughs> <laughs> get fucked, Regina. 2 4 part 1 <laughs> West <Fox Talk. laughs> I'm in danger lol lamau <laughs> So can you guys explain why you brought a child to a police raid Yo that fucking pearl is so oh, that good <laughs> That pearl is so good <laughs> That tiny baby pearl Ha look at you are you wearing string licorice as a belt I don't want to hear that from anybody who looks like they fought a beyblade and lost Maybe someone should offer you life insurance, but I suppose you need a life first. Funny, coming from a guy about to spend his life behind bars. Oh, that's strange. I could have sworn that stubble of yours was drawn on, were drawn on tally marks. <laughs> I'm going to take that to, to be a joke about your own drawing and not my beard, because damn, that hurts. <laughs> damn. <laughs> that's so good, though. And uh, That's really good. <laughs> Uh, Mocha with more so are you this time of a sad variety. Sad. Oh no. Sad. I like never forget. I like the glow effect on the hands. Yeah. A lot. And the, the strings are really cool too. I miss those too. Yeah. Uh just a random idiot with some more uh turn about time travel. Hey, why'd you become a lawyer out of curiosity? No one in our, no one else in our family became one. Well, I became a lawyer because of my friend, actually. After he, uh, after certain events, I decided to help see his dreams of becoming a lawyer come true. How about you? Actually, I also became a lawyer because of a friend. I saw him in the newspaper and I just, I knew I had to save him. Ha! Gay! <laughs> For, forgive me, English isn't my first language, so I don't actually know what the word gay means. <laughs> According to my book here, gay is an adjective meaning carefree or cheerful. <laughs> Aw, you sweet. You sweet girl. Uh, Phoenix's fucking face. Uh, Avery, I finally fully recovered from COVID, and good God, that was an awful two Yay! months. I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm glad you're better. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, managed to finish this piece I started right before I got sick and figured I'd share. Yo, this fucking slaps. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Look at this. That Apollo this and Truth reaction. Cool. The shading, the justice, the... <laughs> the justice? I didn't mean to say the justice, but... I'll stay, I'll stay that shading, you. that justice. <laughs> uh, nameless shipper finally caved and made a cardboard cutouts of the London characters. This fucking this Iris looks yeah. so good. This fucking yeah. Van Zeeks is incredible. Yeah, and not to mention the fucking Herlock Bunny. Herlock Bunny. This is so good. The fucking hair on Herlock Bunny is amazing. Yeah. Uh, God damn. Like, I was impressed with these last <laughs> week, but these are just yeah. so incredible. It's name so a shipper. Fucking you cute. fucking kick ass. Uh, and then a Sufa <laughs> with boobs, girl boss, and snot dripping male wife, bestie duo. Yeah. I love the Mia in this. Oh, yeah. Yes, I mean, that first really Mia's powerful. Hot. Well, that too. Oh, yeah. I mean, Mia's oh, made oh, to be I'll hot. I'll just say it. He has always been hot. <laughs> yeah. He has always been hot. I love that Phoenix but is her, average. Her from the girl. side sprites. To- from the side sprites are much more hot. Totally red warrior cats. What's your favorite warrior cat name? <laughs> this Dahlia bitch about to get a whole can of whoop ass. <laughs> Indigo milk cap. I know I put this in another channel. Perhaps everyone's seen it. But here's Fran, but seen and emo. Uh, I did see this earlier. This fucking kicks ass. It works. It works for her. Uh... Rar XD. Fucking <laughs> her holding up wearing a My Chemical Romance shirt. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Manfred yeah, yeah. would be like so the fucking, pissed. The fucking, oh yeah. The, the jewel belt. Mind. Also, I just realized that her hair is dyed dark over top of the blue. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> That's really good. That's really good. Thank you, Indigo oh, Mocha. Wow. 
Dessert Boy Man, the scent of my youth, like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Marvin Grossberg is a lemon cupcake with lemon buttercream and white chocolate ganache and cinnamon candies hidden at the bottom. Those are his hemorrhoids. No, not the Holy hem- shit. <laughs> wow. No, that's incredible. That makes me you, really happy that he man, included I, that. Actually, actually, knowing that hurts to look at the second photo, but like... <laughs> Fuck, that's incredible. <laughs> I, I Look, it sounds delicious and I want to eat it. Even Medium knowing that there are hemorrhoids inside of it. Like, you, your creativity and your ability to make delicious treats for all these characters is unparalleled. Holy shit. Yeah. Corona Wizard, uh, I know I said we'd be taking a break, but these are from last week, so it doesn't count, right? Uh, first off, back... <laughs> When the game poll wasn't working quite right. Huh? Poll's not working. Uh-oh. No game next week? Huh. Now which character show up first? Guess who's playing? Guess who's playing Jigsaw Puzzles, chat? <laughs> <laughs> Do pardon the intrusion. How then, my dear boys? Did someone say puzzles? Oh my god. <laughs> the fucking the to be continued with the JoJo theme starts playing right now. Uh yo, infamously dorky with the fucking colored photo. Holy shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> It's just the this is fuck. the this is the uh, the office <laughs> the reference office yeah. Thing, yeah that's so good this fucking Winston <laughs> Payne looking as derpy as possible this is so good holy shit <laughs> God. <laughs> 